and you ask yourself, Speaker, you are young. God forbid, if your wife were to leave, please, please, please just pray to not happen. I'm giving a sign. Young as you are, or my son David here, the wife decides to go. And we wait for 20 years or 30 years and say, uh -huh, now give us your accountability. You will hear, he married this one, then I left two children. Then I. <laughs> So really, and why I'm saying this, I want the Ministry of Education to stand up to the call we are making today. Let us increase the budget on girl child education. Last interacted with the uh, Honorable Sister Lopal during the CISPO, the Speakers Conference in Nyonyo. She appeared there, she was very jolly. And she told me, my son, eh? Please work. Make sure you participate in this proceeding and get value for our country. She's been a legislator since 1996. And uh, when she stood on the floor of the house, you knew that she was going to speak sense. It didn't matter that she was a member of the opposition. She always spoke sense. actually um, advocated a lot for the return of multi-party system. She kept the flag, she kept the voice of UPC throughout the period when parties were in abeyance. one of our mentors. Those of us who studied politics, we were with her for guidance on uh, parliamentary debates and all other kinds of guidance that we wanted from her. So we have really lost her and we just pray for the family and we pray that God rests our soul in eternal peace. First of all, we, I want to send my condolences to the family, to the people of Lango and to our constituents of Dokola and to the larger FDC community. The Honorable Cecily Ogwa, we started this parliament when we were 32 FDC MPs. The Honorable Atan was removed through a court process and by election. Now the Honorable Cecily Ogwa has died, so we remain 30 FDC MPs. The Honorable Cecily Ogwa uh, came to be known as Iron Lady because she was very assertive and, and, and very forceful speaker, both in the parliament, in the seminars, on the radio, on TV. And at the time, it was very difficult to identify yourself as a, a, an opposition politician. She's one of those who stood out, together with the, uh, the Honorable Mara Tubos, the Ben Watchers, the doc, late Dr. Kure Park. But she was also part of the Lango MPs in the seventh and the sixth parliament. I think the best MPs in this parliament were from Rango, the Watchers, the Atubo, the Dr. Kure Park and Cecilia Ogwa. And uh, few as they were, they sounded like they were more than the NRM MPs were in parliament. Because if you read the content, the answer of parliament, you will discover that they, 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 they occupied more space than the NRM were the majority. So we will miss her as a politician, as a mother, but also as, as an encyclopedia, someone who has lived and has been part of Uganda's politics for a very long time. For her age, the Honorable Cecilia Ogwara has been visiting uh, and seeking medical care, but not medical care of someone who is diseased, because I have traveled with her and she goes for medical checkup. In fact, I didn't know at any one moment that she had cancer. I didn't know. But I have seen her go to hospital, normally like all of us do. We are with her almost up to the end of the year. 
and nobody ever told me that she's sick, even herself. And she had plans to continue, to continue. I remember um, in the last parliament, she had said this would be her last time. But we were joking with her, and she said maybe she can go for one more time. So yeah, she was, by her age, still full of energy. And uh, I, I don't know when eventually she became sick and, 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 and eventually died. Unfortunate passing on of the Honorable Cecilia Atim Ogwal. She's been one of the longest serving members of parliament. Um, right, by the way, from the Constituent Assembly, she is somebody who made her mark over, over time. Uh, she's been with us in the opposition. We've been learning a great deal from her from the time we entered parliament. She's been a motherly figure, you know. And many of us, especially the new entrants into parliament, would connect with her every once in a while to, to learn from her, to get her opinion, her views on a couple of things. Um, approached her a few times, you know, in the past, as looking forward to continuously engaging with her now as leader of the opposition because some of these seniors. There's a lot that, that they know that they can share that would be of good guidance to us. So it is very sad. Uh, this is somebody who, over the years, would put government on the spot. You know, um, she would insist on government accounting to not just parliament, but to the people of Uganda, as it should be, anyway. And so she got that coining of the name Iron Lady. So even as we mourn her, I think more important for me is um, we, we celebrate her dedicated service to this country and we shall remember her for that. Yeah, the, the Honorable Cecilia Gual, of course, over time became a little bit frail uh, and uh, she would uh, often joke with us, the young ones, you know, and uh, say, I used to walk very straight like you, now my back is bending a little bit, you know, and would joke about that. Uh, so she, she became a little bit frail, but even when she was frail, she would still come to the house. You know, and she had her particular regular seat where she would sit. So, yes, she was frail, especially because of that, but um, it, it was really not known to us, especially in the past two, three weeks to a month. Perhaps because we have been on recess. You know, when you're on recess, people are wherever it is that they are. So when the house is not sitting, sometimes it's difficult to tell who is around, who is not, and that kind of thing. So it didn't occur to us that she was actually bedridden in hospital somewhere uh, because we have been on recess. Uh, but we understand, you know, she deteriorated a bit. She was taken for, for treatment, and sadly, she has not made it. Not to officially announce to you the untimely and painful demise of Honorable Atim Ogwal Cecilia Barbara, the district woman member of parliament of Dokolo, which occurred this morning in India, where she had been evacuated for a specialized medical care. Honorable Ogwal was a devout Christian who put who always put God first. In whatever she did, she would always say, let's have prayers. And that was Honorable Cecilia Ogwal. She was a distinguished legislator with a very strong national look and a remarkable public figure. She was an inspiration to all of us, the young politicians. And she always advocated for a fair and just society that works for everybody. She always talked for humanity. She legislated for humanity. And she always talked about her country came first other than other political parties. Honorable Cecilia Ogwal had a long distinguished public service career dating back from 1979 when she was involved in foreign service and thereafter she served in various capacities in numerous public enterprises, notably the advisory board on trade 
Housing Finance Bank and Uganda Development Bank. She was an accomplished accountant whose knowledge of finance grossly informed her legislative input in various laws and budgetary and appropriation process. That's why you find throughout her life she has been in the budget committee in parliament to date. She became the Secretary General of the People's of Uganda People's Congress in 1985. Her illustrious history and formidable legacy in the legislature dates back to 1994 when she was elected to the Constituency Assembly where she chose she played a pivotal role in shaping the 1995 National Constitution. Throughout her distinguished service to legislature, Honorable Tim Cecilia stood for constitutionalism, the rule of law, human rights, equity, and inclusivity. She was so passionate about women and her dignity to all Ugandans, irrespective of the tribe, religion, region, age, and gender. Honorable Cecilia Gual represented Lira municipality from 1996 to 2006, and later represented the Kolo district from August 2006 till today when she passed on. The deceased also represented Uganda at the Pan-African Parliament in the ninth parliament, that is 211 to 216. The parliament of Uganda and the nation at large has lost a patriot. Honorable Guang will be dearly missed by this parliament of Uganda and by, will be missed by the people of Uganda and most especially people of Lango. We want personal condolence to the people of Lango and to all the women in Uganda whom she was proud of. As the head of legislature and the chairperson of the parliamentary commission, I, together with my family, want to ensure, we want to pass on our condolence to all the members of parliament, to the FDC fraternity, to all the people of Lango, to all the people of Uganda, for the loss of such a lady. Honorable Cecilia Kwan would always tell you never allow to be undermined because you're a woman. You should always be on top of everybody. Some of us were motivated to join politics because of Honorable Cecilia Kwan. Everybody in that house was either a daughter, a son, a brother to Honorable Cecilia Kwan. And she was a uniting factor in that house. She would unite opposition with the ruling government. When she sees the house is heated up, she would get up. When she speaks, everybody keeps quiet. That is the Cecilia of what we have lost. She had where she would always sit. When she's not in the house, nobody will sit where Cecilia sits. That is out of respect that that house had for Cecilia. As parliament, I want to tell the country we have lost. We have lost a mentor. We have lost a lady who would serve everybody irrespective of your, of your 
party. We'll ensure we repatriate the body back to Uganda and we'll keep you posted of the next program. May her soul rest in perfect peace.